You had your warning, Dunkin'! You blew it! Let's begin this video by recapping their biggest changes. 1. Nulls now provide mana reduction and double in power at minute 25. 2. Battle immediately loses fountain refill mechanic if not in the fountain. There of course are some more changes like Storm's own minor adjustments and some item reworks, some of which we'll cover a bit later. For now, let's focus on the two outline changes. Of course, everything discussed in this video is an educated guess based on experiences and personal tastes, and is subject to change either as meta naturally evolves or with direct adjustments from subsequent patches. So, first very bold claim I will make is that battle is no longer as essential as it once was. Me personally, I've been skipping it in my game since 731, and I can't say I am missing much. That said, battle first item is still a perfectly viable option, is a safe bet, and I will not point it out as a mistake to my students. So what kind of advantages do you get by skipping battle? Stats. Every single stat on the new null is extremely valuable for Storm and scales all the way to late. In lanes where Storm can go even or ahead, this early null is extremely valuable, as you can stay in lane indefinitely since your trading ability is always one item ahead of your opponents. It will also help determine the outcome of those early game skirmishes where every stat matters. The downside, however, is that if your lane is naturally hard, those stats won't matter, and someone with a battle could stay in lane longer before switching to jungle. Another factor to consider is that if you find a power rune, you will have to use it immediately instead of storing it for more ideal conditions. Lastly, without battle, you will sometimes need to either ship some region or make a base walk, which will cost either a little bit of net or XP loss. It ain't much, but you need to consider if your opponent will reach 6 first and what are the implications of it. There are some more factors that I cannot think of right now, but to summarize all points, I think experienced Storm players will benefit from skipping battle entirely on certain mid matchups. But if you want to play it safe and comfortable, battle is still the way to go. Moving on. Whether you've vent battle or not, you will want to fill your empty slots ASAP with 3 or 4 nulls. With how cheap and how effective those stats are, Storm becomes an early game powerhouse, matching and even surpassing the effectiveness of Ember or Void. No longer do you finish your first big item in the jungle, now you make every lane a kill lane and keep looking for pickups while adding to your null collection every few minutes. Itemization goal coming from mid game to late game is to keep those nulls as long as possible, since they double in power from minute 25. So, items that do not take up extra inventory slots go up in value. Of course, you're still very susceptible to dying in a chain stun situation, so defensives matter. Ideal itemization around mid game looks like this 3 or 4 nulls, a defensive, shard, and travels. If you're extremely ahead, you can rush shard and travels. If you're somewhat even or the enemy will be hitting big power spike soon, better be ready with a BKB. While you might find yourself lacking in mana region, now we're all about that skirmish power. Give all you got, and you've got a lot, during a particular encounter, then just use your travels to make a quick base trip and return to the battlefield. Whichever route you go, by minute 25 you're one of the most powerful heroes on the map, considering how easy it is to hit those item goals even from behind. From minute 25 onwards, it is business as usual. Save up for an item you feel is good in your particular match, then swap out a null for it. I am still a big fan of Aghanim's Blood Torn by level 25, but overall, any build works. Arcane Blink is great if the enemy lacks serious lockdowns or you need to play super defensive. Bloodstone, I think, has too few niche uses to be even considered. Same with the new E-Blade. Too niche. And I think that's it. Leaving you with the rest of the match. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Going anywhere.
no. I thank you. Do Radiant want their middle tower to fall? Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is about to fall. Just wait. I'm dead, I'd shoot you again. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's courier is dead. And just following orders. If you're looking for Radiant's bottom tower, better hurry. I'm over here! Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Jax thinks Radiant's bottom tower is about to fall. Can't say he's wrong. Dyer's top tower has some Radiant-shaped problems. Zap! Over here now! Whoa! What'd I miss? Dominating! You weren't so damn Told dead you a storm was coming! Ha! <laughs> Do Radiant want their middle tower to fall? Dyer's top tower is under attack. has been killed. This should make my life easier. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Jax thinks Radiant's bottom tower is about to fall. Can't say he's wrong. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. My thanks to thee. And over here, Radiant's top tower, about to fall. Dyer don't look too scared of Radiant's top tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Stupendous! Over here now! It is mine!
Do Radiant want their middle tower to fall? Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower is under attack. I think that's the application of war ships? Invisibility! Jax thinks Radiant's bottom tower is about to fall. Can't say he's wrong. Your warning, Dark road, I go. You blew it. Radiant's courier has been killed. And over here, Radiant's oh, top tower. Nice. Don't look too scared of Radiant's top tower. <laughs> and here's a fortification from Radiant. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And over here, Radiant's top tower. Radiant's top tower is lonely. Dominating! Looking for me? V. 
visibility. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Jax thinks Radiant's bottom Two tower is about to fall. Was coming. He's wrong. Radiant's courier has been killed. Jax thinks Radiant's bottom tower is about to fall. So he's wrong. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Cost of magic. Killing spree. Triple kill. Over here. Ah, where's the body? Oh, Just fortified. Dyer's top tower has some radiant shaped problems. Every coin helps. He's mine. Jack thinks Radiant's bottom power is about to fall. He's mine. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Jack thinks Radiant's bottom tower is about to fall. Can't say he's wrong. Looking for me? Pretty well. Could be worse. Oh, hey, no, no, no. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And over here, Radiant's top tower. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Hey! 
Thou payest dearly. Is Dyer going to let that middle tower full? Rashawn has fallen to the radiant. Not tonight. Whoa, what I miss? Do Radiant want them to power the ball? Radiant just for the fight. Radiant's middle tower is under Radiant's middle tower is full. Could be worse! Killing spree! Don't worry, that one piece of gristle shall <laughs> Bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower doesn't last long. Stupendous! Is Dyer going to let that middle tower fall? Zap! Under attack. Dyer just fortified.
there don't look too scared of Radiant's top tower. Double damage. Radiant's getting friendly with Dyer's bottom tower. Oh, wait, oh, and over here, Radiant's top tower. Look at Dyer's bottom tower, Jack. Radiant's top tower? How long can Radiant's top barracks be? Radiant's middle barracks is full. Radiant's top barracks is full. Where's the party? Radiant's middle barracks is full. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Look at Dyer's bottom tower, Jack. Blow the man down. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Pay for my life. Radiant's ancient, but I've had everyone's 